Hello, my loves. Welcome back to us here doing what we do, pulling charts, pulling the cards. Guys, don't let me forget to pull charms. I have this big old bag full of charmies and I don't want to forget to pull them because as much as I love them, I'm a creature of habit and I'm not used to pulling the charms. And I really, 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 really want to share that with you. So, of course, we're going to talk about this week ahead. Wow. So, a few things that are going on, you guys. Just to recap, we have Venus retrograde, Mercury retrograde. Venus is actually going to turn direct this week, thank God, on the 29th. I want to know how you guys have been vibing with this retrograde cycle um, this time, this season within your life. What was your spending like? Did you find that you were spending more? Did you find that what you were spending on, did it get triggered from a space of like lower insecurity, maybe self-doubt, um, working on self-love? Were there certain things that you felt like you had to revamp within your own appearance, within your own life, within your own lifestyle? and as you have evolved, you're going to want things around you or you're going to want to appear in a way that represents how you're feeling again at this season in your life. Those are some things that I was definitely witnessing when I was pulling the chart and when I was pulling the cards. Venus in Capricorn is very, very serious about what it commits itself to and I would not be surprised if this bled into not only your love life, your romance, your dating, but also your self-love. What is it you're attracted to? What is that you're drawn to? Where and how you're spending your money within the, the last, I want to say like three and a half, maybe four weeks. I know I'm diving right into this, but it's just because I'm so excited, you guys. You know, I took like a week off and I'm back and I'm just really stoked to pull the charts one thing another thing that's really getting me excited is the fact that on the 25th mercury who has been retrograde ruling our communication messages information that we re that we receive and our ability to understand it like how we're processing it will take a bunch of steps back into the sign of capricorn so i don't know if you guys are seeing this right now but there is so much energy revolving around our persistence, what we want to consistently work on in ourself, for ourselves, our environment. And of course, when we think about persistence and consistency, this really naturally kind of breaks down into our career, our work. Our minds are so focused on longevity, efficiency, and making this project, this whatever it is, this overhaul, we want to make sure that it's going to last our entire lifespan. And if this is not what you thought that you wanted for your own life, for your own, like where you're at in, in your world, in your life right now, it spirit sees it for you. The planets see it for you. That's where they want you to focus your time, your attention. I do also want to say that as active as Capricorn energy is, it at the same time will not waste its energy on things that it doesn't feel is solid or capable or worth it. So as Mercury has been retrograde and as Venus has been re retrograde for the last few weeks, I do see you being very committed and very focused and very determined and very persistent and it's going to be really hard. You might even snap or get frustrated if anybody pulls you away from what it is that you want, whatever it, whatever it is that you're focusing on. If you just don't want to invite in distractions, as I say that, my candle just, I don't know if you guys saw that, but my candle just exploded. You do not want to engage and invite in any type of dis um, distractions. It is very reactive. So that's something that I would not be surprised if the last few weeks or this week you feel like annoyed a higher level a heightened level of annoyance and frustration and agitation when you know something someone is not vibing doesn't want the same things from with you or from you and they try to pull you away from that you're just your brain and your energy and your dedication your determination does not match that having said that this doesn't always have to play on uh show up in a, a level of agitation or irritation. This could just represent 
your brain, your mind being very innovative at this time. Again, Capricorn is a cardinal sign and directly opposite Capricorn is Cancer. Cancer rules the home, the hearth, the feelings of safety, security, stability, things that is that you want for yourself. So I feel like for those of you guys that are feeling this in a positive way, in a happier way, in a lighter way, it's still intense in the in the sense that you are becoming more innovative and active in making what is around you work for you. So this is someone who turns what they have into something that can just carry them for the long haul. This is a very brilliant mind that is revamping and rethinking about things in a different way in order to help them to achieve their goals. So um, you know what I kind of get this, what I get from this? So my family, just a little disclaimer, not a disclaimer, but a little insight about me that you, might, you may relate to. My family's from the islands, right? Um, specifically Jamaica. My dad is British, but his family before was uh, raised, born and raised in Jamaica. They're like first generation immigrants to the US. That's how they met and then had me. Either way, so they they literally came from nothing. Well, I don't wanna say nothing. They didn't have what we have here in the United States. They built everything from scratch, from the ground up. My grandfather built the home that they were living in, in Jamaica, by hands himself. And I say all this to say that that's kind of the energy that, is that I'm seeing here, is that for those of you guys that are vibing with this, or have been vibing, you are taking scratch you're taking little and you're building a whole more than just a foundation you're building a home and that home will be a safe haven for this generation and the generation to come now because this is a general message it's going to apply differently for everyone depending on what capricorn rules within your chart what cancer rules within your chart because Capricorn and Cancer, the direct opposites. So, and that's where my energy is being drawn to talk to you about right now. What is it that you are building from the ground up? For some of you guys, it could be your mental health. It could be your healing. Some of you guys are like, well, Jess, I understand and I do feel this level of ambition and drive, but I haven't been as active because I've been focusing on myself. I've been focusing on my healing. I totally 1000% relate to you. If there's one thing that Capricorn energy has taught me, because Saturn, Saturn rules Capricorn, it connects you to lifelong lessons that you have to learn in this lifetime, or at least in this season within your life, and you have to master them, or else there's going to be severe consequences. For me, another little disclaimer, a little backstory about me, for years, when I had my Saturn return, I... Well, years ago when I was having my Saturn return, that was when I was grinding, you guys. I was grinding for Bahati life, not realizing that I was going to be building and that I was building the foundation of an entire corporation. And that's what it is that you see with my candles, with my oils, all those, all those different intricate things, the school, all of those things. I had no idea that Saturn was teaching me how to grind so hard because what I was going to build was going to last from generation to generation. That's that's just what happens when you get Saturn in the mix. So, and my brain was just like, you know, passionate, but it couldn't turn off from the work. It couldn't turn off from constantly pulling the charts. I still do that. But over time, because Saturn rules longevity, over time, the way that I was working and how I was working would not be conducive to my personal health longevity health health it would have run me down and when i was in new orleans so this was maybe two years ago when i was in new orleans i was working on shadow my shadow aspect but i was having a, a major um emotional breakdown um because of how i was grinding 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 and i i couldn't turn off and spirit was leading me into a space of rest recuperation regeneration and also restorative energies, but also teaching me how to play. And I was not, because I was grinding so hard and because I was so committed to it, almost obsessively. And that's the other thing too, Saturn or Capricorn also rules, if you look at tarot, 
It also rules the devil card. Why? Because we become so committed, we become so ambitious, we become so locked in to whatever it is that we are working on at that time and that place. But we have to learn how to master master the lessons. That's what Saturn's going to give to us because that ultimately is going to contribute to our long our long term longevity. So now that I'm at this point and stage in my life, I know to pace myself. I put in the work, of course, I put in the work, I will continually put in the work. However, the way that I work now is different because I've learned to slow down, to still take steps, to still be active, but to be more balanced so that I'm not only taking care of Bahati life, but I'm also taking care of myself. So again, that's a very specific message and I wanted to share that with you, but this is about like take that message and apply it to the area in your life that it relates to you the most. You are going to, again, Cardinals and Mars. Yeah, yeah. Mars entering into the sign of Capricorn on the 24th. Mars is going to make you want to, I don't want to say crank into overdrive, but it is going to make you want to be active without a doubt. I do want to share with you guys a message that came through for me while I was preparing for this reading for you guys. I was pulling the charts and everyone is going, this is going to resonate differently with everyone, but I saw the word opportunity. You guys know I normally hear the words, but this time I actually saw the word opportunity. And this is something that is God given or universe given or the, the, the planets just kind of aligned to give you this opportunity. There does feel and does, and I do sense a interesting feeling here of breaking the rules so this could be your expectations of how you are to be successful or how something is supposed to appear to you it feels like it deviates away from that but it is a door that has opened for you this week and I'm also seeing some of you guys it's going to spill over into next week there is an opportunity that feels like it's a little forbidden it feels like it's a little taboo but Spirit is opening the door for you to have this experience because it's going to make your life, and this is a big message, it's going to make your life way more of a convenience and less of a hassle. This one moment, this one opportunity, even though it seems so light, and I, I don't know why I just heard the word smoky, meaning like it may not appear to you as what it actually is. The reason why it's so significant and so big is because there is this seed, this this belief that is in your head, embedded in your head about the way that something should be or the way that you have to show up or the way that you have to do things that if you break from it in the smaller sense, it makes you think about things differently so that when a bigger opportunity shows up, you can react on that without hesitation, without doubt, or without remorse or guilt. So I really want you guys to um, look out for that this week. This does have to do with Mars entering the sign of Capricorn on the 24th. This does have to do with Mercury backtracking into the sign of Capricorn on the 25th. This does have to deal with Venus moving direct in the sign of Capricorn on the 29th. This does have to deal with the sun squaring Uranus on the 30th. This has everything to do with what you are believing about the world, believing about yourself, believing about opportunity, believing about, and it has everything to do with convenience. Some of you guys are so used to working hard and kind of like grinding yourself to the point where you're wearing your yourself down or it can only come this way but this thing this this whatever it is this week and moving into the next it has everything to do with convenience and lifestyle and making your life more easier and effortless it seems small again you guys it seems very very small initially but it's the small things that add up over time and it's a small belief that small seated belief that you have that's embedded in your brain that once that's crushed it opens the door for you to be way more open to things being more convenient to things being more effortless to things flowing more effortlessly and you breaking free from this locked in belief that it has to be this way okay that's a very spe specific message but that's what spirit led me to speak to you right away from the jump so i pretty much dive 
into a lot just now okay so let me just break it down for you real quick mars is entering the sign of capricorn on the, t the 24th this has everything to do with your drive your ambition and being way more active and proactive and how you show up for yourself your business your world your goals your your health your healing venus is also i'm sorry mercury is also backtracking because mercury is retrograde right now backtracking back into the sign of Capricorn on the 25th. Mercury rules our ability to communicate, our ability to give and receive messages, and also how we process them. What do we think and what do we believe and what do we hear when someone is saying something? That's our perspective. So we are really going to be revamping and revisiting contracts, business agreements, certain conversations that were kind of left hanging. I don't know if you guys remember this, but for the last like month, the hangman kept showing up again and again and again. And the largest message there was really about surrendering, surrendering to the divine, surrendering to the unknown, surrendering to your, your path, your plan. A lot more of that. <laughs> A lot more of that. But I'm also seeing a lot an increase in redesigning, reestablishing, and shifting in the game plan for this year and then the years to come. A lot of you guys, I see you, I don't want to call it hoarding. <laughs> I don't want to call it hoarding, but you are stocking, like you're stocking things because you want to make sure and it, you want to make sure that you're good. You want to make sure that you're solid. You want to make sure that your family's ta taken care of. I don't see it as fear. I see it as proactive preparation. Take that message how you will, you guys. Take it how you will. I'm also seeing you guys making something out of nothing. This is not like drama. This is like repurposing things. So you have this that was once a thing okay and then you turn it into something else an example for this a clear example that I can give to you is something that I did recently so I recently bought a new bed and the the boards that were on the base of the bed the wood that keeps the bed you know straight I don't know so I when I was taking out the bed and replacing it I thought to myself my plan for my house, for my home, is to build raised garden beds. And lumber is through the roof right now. Why? Because I don't know if you guys have realized this, and I've been talking about this for the longest time with Uranus sitting on the sign of Taurus. Resources are so limited right now. So to buy lumber is very, very expensive. So I'm actually keeping the bed frame wood pieces, and I'm going to repurpose repurpose that into creating the foundation of the raised garden bed so again that's another example but that's some energy that is I'm seeing if it's not this week it's in the weeks to come okay so you're taking something and you're turning it into something else that makes your life way more convenient you're stretching it you're stretching it okay another thing that is that I'm seeing is on the 28th we have Venus sextile Chiron Empress card just um, shifted out. We have Venus sextile Chiron. I'm sorry, Sun sextile Chiron and Mercury conjunct Pluto. This has 1000% the message of healing and self discovery and proactive um, heal, like proactive energies focusing on your personal power, your ability to control you know, how you show up for the world and what you allow to show up for you in your own life. So I really want you guys to put a pin in that. This is a time, this is going to be such a personal transit. So I don't even want to try to dive into that. I just want you guys to stay open to it. And I also would love to hear you revisit. Of course, I'm going to revisit the YouTube channel and then let me know down in the comments. I'm going to check in with you guys on the 27th and the 28th and the 29th to see how this transit was working for you on my Instagram. So make sure that you are following me on Instagram at Bahati Life, B-E-H-A-T as in tiger, I-L-I-F-E. Make sure that you're not following a scam account. There's a lot of those lately. Moving forward on the 29th, Venus finally moves direct, you guys. This is where we start to see, but we want to give it a little grace period. We want to see more well, we will see more advances when it comes to uh, relationships and when it comes to love, self-love, and 
we are going to be way more comfortable and safe with the way that is that we're spending our money. But at the same time, don't go crazy with that. Don't don't get reckless, especially because on the 30th, Sun's going to be squaring off with Uranus. And this is honestly when I feel like that opportunity is going to shoot right through when it comes to opportunity and you just being like, you know what? I see this. I'm going to act on it. It's going to help help you in the long run. Okay, guys, it is time to get into the charms. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set up for you. I have a lovely little gothic teacup here. It's one of my favorite teacups. For those of you guys that don't know, black is one of my favorite colors. Clearly, I'm always wearing it. And I'm going to pour the charms that are from this cute little lavender purple bag, which is my other favorite color. I'm going to pour the charms into the teacup. And then we're going to spill them out and see what charms we have for us for this week. I can't believe I remembered it, but I'm glad that I did. Okay, my loves. So we have our cute little teacup here. I'm going to get the charmies going for us in this lovely little bag. Let's see what Message of Spirit has for us. Okay. That one jumped right on out. Want some more. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Not even surprised. All right. First things first, let's talk about this key that just jumped out, the key to your heart. What does this have to do with anything <laughs> for me? This has a lot to do, and also the key of secrets here. This has a lot to do with what it was I was talking to you about earlier. I do feel like there's an opportunity that's coming through for us or you this week. I feel like, like what I was saying earlier on in the video, that it feels like something that was originally taboo, something that you normally would not say yes to, or that you would normally feel like it's off limits to you, or you shouldn't do it. This week, I feel like you, hopefully guided by this message, you decide, you know what, I'm going to... Uh, take a risk here. I'm going to take a risk here for the sake of my heart. I would not be surprised, especially with this message in a bottle, I would not be surprised if you hear from someone or if you share a message of something that you've been holding on your own heart. I am noticing that there is another key here. Yeah. Oh my goodness, you guys, there's a lot of keys here. This is the key to life. I, as I'm saying that, look, dreams. As I'm saying that, I feel like spirit was asking just now, how do you define, how do you define what is going to make you the most happiest? How do you define that? I also feel this is something a door is truly something that has been locked, a door to a heart, a door to how someone has been feeling, what they've been thinking, what they've been holding on to and harboring. It's still locked, but you may begin to hear messages about it this week. I do get a sense of something opening up here. I, it's so interesting too. We also have this pink, we have this pink um, punching glove. And this is so significant because it literally says fight and of course it has to do with breast cancer awareness, absolutely. But I feel like this is something that you are fighting for in for your life. Like something that you finally are starting to sense or get a sense of that this is worth the fight. This is worth it to me. We also have the ballerina charm here. And this represents beauty, hard work, determination, but also grace and how you present to the world and showcase to the world what you've been working on so hard this entire time for the last few months. What are these larger charms here? We have, I want to be improbable and afraid of nothing as if I had wings. And literally, this is what you are approaching, how you're approaching life this week and in the weeks to come, you have totally, maybe this is something that you've been holding on to in your own heart, in your own life, something that you've been secretly 
this dream that you've been holding on to that you're like, okay, now it's time for me to turn this into a reality. Now it's time for me to show them what I am made of, who I am and what I've been working on, or you're beginning that. When it comes to life and it comes to your dreams and it comes to the heart, what what is off limits to you? Nothing. The heart will jump through even the toughest obstacles in order to reach its destination with just the sheer desire for hope that it would love it back and or that something can happen and literally spirit is lifting you up as if you had wings in order to help you to achieve this and as I'm saying that we have the feather here so that the feather is a sign for someone absolutely a lot of you guys have feathers and birds as animal totems but and and messengers we also have I'm noticing this right now we also have a lock here so there is definitely, and we have a few keys here, which is there one that can fit within this? We don't know, but this week you're going to find out. This week you are going to find out. The next charmy we have here, our charms that we have, it says live for the moments you cannot put into words. And I feel like that is genuinely has become the secret to your life and the secret of making it worth it for you. The moments that you cannot put into words. Hope is the thing with feathers. Wow. That perches in the soul. And then we have this feather here. So it's literally this hope that you have for more. Or maybe this is someone or something coming to you. With the message in the bottle, I wouldn't be surprised. But I don't want to promise that yet. Because I want to see more charms. I want to see more signs. And I want to hear it within my own heart. So, you know, spirit confirming that message. And we'll see what happens here, you guys. You know, I don't like to make promises. But... I would not be surprised if you do hear from someone with Mercury retrograde moving back into the Capricorn with Venus moving direct. I would not be surprised if you do hear from someone that's been holding and harboring feelings in their in their heart. It becomes too cold for them to hold it anymore. It becomes impossible for them to hold on to it. We have the charm here, this two these two hearts here. Um, but it says, a sister is someone to dream, cry, sing, and laugh with. This has, to me, this has a lot to do with finding, of course, sisterhood, but also finding your tribe, finding your people. And as I'm saying that, the other charm that you have here is this little honeycomb. It's my, I call it a little honeycomb charm. So this has a lot to do with what is that you've been busy building, um, and it seems... It may seem like some of you guys might have been hiding from the world, but you really start to come through. I do see a message here, even though with this fork, I know that this is a very specific message and some of you guys won't understand it, but this is just how spirit speaks to me. This has a lot to do with ancestry, your family that have passed on that are looking out for you. At the same time, spirit looks like it's talking to you about diet and lifestyle. We have the cotton candy, we have the apple, we have the takeout. So there's could be a message about balance. Um, but I'm also seeing a really strong message when it comes to looking out for how you're taking care of your body. Look at this, you guys. We have the gear here. So something is definitely in motion when it comes to your work, when it comes to your ambition, when it comes to your dreams. Some of you guys with this piece, puzzle piece, you're looking for the missing piece within your life that says, you know what? This is why I'm here. And you're wanting things to fall into place. You're looking for something in order to help things to fall into place. This next charm says, it takes a big heart to teach little minds. So this is, this charm to me always stands out for those who are spiritual teachers. Oh my gosh. I literally said this. You only have just one life. And if you only have one life, what are you going to do with it? It's going to make the opportunities and the risks that you take, it's going to make it all worth it. I'm going to push these charms off to the side a little bit so we can refresh our, refresh our slate. And I want to look at some of these tarot charms that have been jumping out. So we have the Emperor, we have the High Priestess, we have the Wheel of Fortune, and we also have the Chariot. Like I said, and especially with this anchor here, like I said, you guys, you have been really we have a lot of work charms here a lot of work charms like i said though you have really your 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 ambition your drive your persistence is coming to the forefront with the emperor here you are 
commanding control. You are commanding your power. With this charm that says weakness is a choice, to me, this is you choosing to put in the work, to put into the drive, put in the drive, the ambition. We have the reindeer here. I see this as Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, but I see him as, once again, leading the pack. Why? Because he's different and he's, you may be channeling this message when it comes to you teaching others and showing up for yourself or you teaching yourself how to be more confident, how to be more self-assured. As I'm saying that, we have the Aries charm here. We also have Scorpio. Scorpio is not afraid to go deep when it comes to the things that it is that it loves, that it's committed itself to. It's almost obsessive and possessive with it. And Aries will lead the way. So it's very similar energies. We have this charm P here. So that may be significant to some of you. When it comes to, speaking of dive deep, we have the whale tail, which I love, and another wings here. So let's look at some of these words that are coming through. Okay, so you have the word dream. Once again, you have the, dream, the charm love. You also have the charm believe. You have warrior. Of course, I'm not even surprised. You have trust. You have miracle. You have inspire. With the scissors, I do feel like for sometimes this is, for some of you guys need to cut out some toxic traits or some toxic people within your life. But really what I'm seeing is pro, pro act, proactivity. Like you're very proactive. You're being creative. You're, you're putting those scissors to work and you're building something and just kind of tailoring it. I see it more as like a craft project for you. With this um, tree of life here and the lotus here and... <laughs> the tortoise shell to me this is about longevity it's about family it's about being reborn it's about doing things the right way so that they last a long time the charm of course is representative of coming out of the muck coming out of the darkness and coming out pure and i do see that of course especially with this starfish here it's about regeneration but i really am seeing this more than just you re-emerging, I'm seeing you with this charm here. There's this cold cycle within your life. I'm seeing you showing up in a in a stronger way and respecting the time, the time cycles of your own life. Um, we have the heart here. We have the the rose. To me, this is about what is significant. There's a lot of huge emphasis when it comes around beauty. So what you find yourself attracted to, what feels good for you, what attracts you, what do you love, especially with the dolphin card here, or dolphin charm. Dolphins, of course, represent playfulness, but since I've lived in Florida, I see them as different things. I see them as partnership. I see them as working together as a community, working together as, as a unit in order to achieve a goal. And I also see them as highly cunning, very playful, and even sometimes a little manipulative. <laughs> Um, I always thought dolphins were like playful and coy and cute, but they have a dark, especially with a Scorpio charm here, they have their own dark history that we don't even need to get into right now. I think that with this bear here, there is a part of you guys that spirit wants you to nurture your inner child with Capricorn energy and all this warrior energy here and weakness is a choice. The very opposite of Capricorn is Cancer. And Cancer is what comforts us, what nurtures us, what we hold on to. And a lot of times that can be a teddy bear. As, as powerful as you are, as persistent as you are, I do see this side of you that's very soft. I do see the side of you that's very, you know, um, I'm almost getting like kawaii energy. Like you might have this sharpness to you, but you have this softness to you that's super cute, super kawaii. And for those of you guys that don't know what kawaii is, it's, um, I think it's the word cute, like super cute in Japanese culture. So you, if you want to look into that, there's different sides to you that is just so adorable. <laughs> so keep an eye out for that. You have the charm hamsa here, upside down. So of course this has to do with protection, but more it's about blessings coming into you. Blessings that are protected. And I do see you wanting to jump on them with, um, with the when it comes to opportunity these are the runes that is that you have i always have a hard time oh my goodness yeah so this charm this rune has no symbol on it and this charm i'm pretty i'm pretty sure this rune i'm pretty sure has to do with opportunity coming in but i'm going to comment it down in the comments for you and pin it so that you see it 
but this has to do with the unknown and I also feel like it's coming in really quickly it's coming in really really fast now runes are not my uh, divination mode of choice but I do see the opportunity in them and I do see the gift when they're in the, the bag of charms I am kind of questioning what this bird is I feel like this is again a message something that someone wants to say but it just feels so delayed or something that you want to say but it's so delayed this bird to me I'm getting the vibe of super super quiet it's a bird that's in hiding so don't be surprised for some reason I feel like this has to do with the ego and also like keeping the peace you just don't want to disrupt you don't want to just disrupt or speak out because you but spirit is really calling you to you your intuition is telling you like something is making you want to speak up making you need to speak up so really if you can can you try to and I feel like this rune, I'll look into the symbolism of the rune even further. If you guys can, can you comment it down? And what does this rune mean to you, this one in, in particular? I'm going to comment what I see, but I also want to hear what you guys have. So that's what it is that I'm seeing here, my loves. Thank you so much for tuning in. The, the 2022 guidebook is up for pre-order and it is in pre-order pricing so please check out bahadilife.com so that you can tap into um getting that book that ebook it will be an ebook format and will also be in paperback format but it will be your guide to 2022 astrologically and intuitive like i was saying i am not rushing this process i don't feel the need to desire anymore in order to just crank things out as if I'm a machine I just don't like that anymore and as I grow as Bahati life grows I just honor that even further so thank you guys for being patient and understanding with my process and with me respecting my body at this time in this place um but again the pre-order for 2022 will be found down below of course I want to invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from and I'll see you guys in my next one bye you were created to live a life of magic abundance, love, and blessing, all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. Mahati Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.